The intention behind the college program is, is not only just a, a soccer team, but it is so much more than that. The mission of Open Field is to improve the lives and futures of youth through sport. And over the last couple of years, I think we've really focused on the first part of it, providing opportunities to play, to meet other people, to learn, to grow, to develop these skills that will help them in the future. And we also need to think about the second part of our mission, which is and futures. So how do we improve the futures of youth? We know there's huge gaps and huge barriers, especially for foreign born youth, black and brown youth. And so thinking about that question more, we landed on this idea of financial mobility. Just doing some research, we saw that education is a pathway to financial mobility. So that's where the idea came about. How do we bridge the gap between young people graduating high school and achieving post-secondary success? Community college is the answer, and a community college soccer team is the best way to engage immigrant and refugee youth, foreign-born youth who love soccer. I grew up in a small country called Nepal. I'm from Sudan in Darfur. I'm from Equatorial Guinea. Yeah, that's a country found in Africa, in Central Africa. There was not like good facilities for soccer and everything. What we used to do is like gather our socks and then like put like garbages and everything inside the socks. And then we used to make a bo soccer ball out of it. When we go to school during break time, we used to play soccer. We have like little empty water bottles. We used to kick and stuff like that. But like that was all fun, you know, like that's how we learned how to play soccer. When I came to US, like it was completely different. You know, everything was different. Like Pennsylvania State is bigger than like the, my whole country. You know, so like you can imagine how big it was for me. People say like everything's free like, in the US, but then you come here, it's not like that. The houses here way different. The roads here way different. Many rules that you have to follow. In this country, <laughs> like everybody has a car. In my country, if you have a car, you like. God. <laughs> Surprised is not even the word to describe my impression of the first couple interactions with CCAC. When I reached out to a couple of folks there, like I got a response within one or two days and we got the green light. I think it's important to work with Justin because he had a vision and then he had a goal. Justin realized that, like, wait a minute, I have open film, I have soccer, I have the students, I have the need, who could help me and assist? After I graduated, I didn't know which college I was about to go. I got offers from like different other colleges as well. Some of the college was like very far and I had to stay on the dorm. I live with my mother and my brother, so like I couldn't just leave them like alone. I wanted the college to be like close to me. So the reason I chose CCAC is because it is very affordable for me. After I finished my two year here, I could transfer to other college and get the same bachelor degree. The average time it takes to graduate community college is between five and seven years. So a two-year degree can take double or triple that. So the intention with the, with the team is to really support players to help them just finish their degree in two years. That in itself creates, you know, an opportunity for them to go on to a four-year school. That in itself creates an opportunity for them to be, you know, more marketable when it comes to looking for jobs. And with CCAC, with many of our programs, I think that's what can help about that. The fact that they're playing soccer, doing things and we're collaborating, but yet they're in a college atmosphere with college support, college resources, educators, administrators. So now I can give them more than just sports. This program, over the course of a couple months, went from an idea to like, a, oh, this is real, like we gotta do this. For the first few months, it was really, how is this gonna work? How do we make this happen? What are the best ways that we can accomplish our goal? You know, I was looking for a coach, and so, um, you know, I posted the job on Indeed. Pascal sent me a message and said, let's go for lunch, let's talk business. <laughs> and so when I'm listening to what he's saying, it's like, not like, you guys gotta do this, or you should do this, or like, what about this? But it's like, what are we gonna do? Like, how are we gonna build this team? Like, we gotta build this brotherhood. We gotta build this family and the team. And so it wasn't even a question of, who am I gonna hire? I didn't interview anybody else, it was just like, all right, that's the coach. Honestly, it wasn't even about coaching. It was about, I went through this. I don't want the next person to go through that. Growing up, I had coaches that didn't care about me. 
I feel like if you're my coach, you're supposed to be my guardian to tell me, hey, do this and do that. And at the end of the day, I love you and I care for you. That was my main point of like, I want to step in. And as the name of the program, Open Field, I feel like it should be something that's open to be able to feel like you're comfortable. And at the end of the day, it's not even about playing the game and everything is about how can we give what we wasn't given to someone or to the next person. That's how I look at it. Once the school year started in August, it was like all the doors opened. We were able to get the players that we wanted, the, the numbers that we wanted, and we were able to hire a great coach. We were able to find where we were going to practice. Everything really started to come together. The bus trips was amazing. Having to laugh with guys and trying to get to know them. So you learn from people together. So that's one thing I love about the team. The games are also amazing. You get to see people's true characters and how like they, they are under pressure or like, you know, stuff like that. So it really is a nice experience all around. Working with CCAC, we agreed upon the requirements to be on the team. The important thing about the program that we've been stressing to all the players is that they're student athletes. And so obviously the student part comes first. Um, so one of the requirements was that you had to be a full-time student. The other requirement was you had to maintain a 2.5 GPA or higher. At first, like it was very hard for me to find classes. I was like very confused. And it, it used to take me like five to 10 minutes to find one class. And the language was a big problem. Like I didn't understand a single thing. Like I just like used to look at the board, like what they write, and then try to like understand like what they are trying to teach. You know. They were able to expect from me all the you know background support they needed, whether it be you know, transportation, academic support, get extra food, get clothes, all that jazz. Brandon is like a really cool guy for us. If I need ride or something like that for the game or practice, he's always there for us. If I need like any assistance with my classes or if I need some help with my homework or stuff like that, I just have to ask him and like he's always there for us. We wanted to give these guys the tools to succeed and then we wanted them to you know, go out and put the work in. To see the evolution of the team from a group of individuals guys that were only concerned about themselves showing up to play. And then to see the progression over the course of a couple months to a team, a family, a level of connection that's way more than just a team, way more than just guys that are showing up to play soccer. Um, it was really special. I, when I joined, I just like, I just wanted to play football. But now being a part of the thing and seeing where we are and where we want to go, I want us to make a difference, not just individually, but like as a whole. I feel really proud to be part of this team, especially if I'm the first one. I feel very proud. This is like the foundation year of the soccer team. You know, when something starts, it's kind of like not really strong. We're still preparing, getting ready. So I think in five years, we're going to be the best team in the whole of people. I have made like some good decision in my life, but like one of the best decisions I have made in my life is coming to CCAC and also joining the soccer team at CCAC because like it is helping me like getting to know other people, communicating with other people, improving my English because like I get to speak with my teammates and like the connection that I make with my teammates, they're like a family to me. And yeah, it was one of the best decisions I made. Our team coach, managers, staffs, everyone that's around this team is really helpful. I feel like in five years, we can actually grow this team to being something bigger. What great place to go, grow as a human being, be the best you could be, get credentialed, obtain credits, and now you're coming in as a transfer student, a first semester junior who have college credits and athletic experience, you're more attractable than a incoming freshman, I think that's where we play that part. My vision for the CCAC team is that it becomes a world-class community college, like a world-class program, where by which student athletes from the region, from the country, or even internationally, are coming you know, to play there because it is a platform for them to get looked at and to get opportunities for scholarships to go on to a four-year school. To be able to see that goal happening in, in real time and these guys enjoying soccer but also enjoying classes and, and getting an education out of it um, has been really great to see. The dreams of open field just already started. 
it's up on me, the players, to pick it up and push it. We're already seeing high school student athletes that are already committed to going to CCAC. My son is in middle school, so when I talk to him about we are playing in the college, he said, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to go to CCAC to play soccer for them. We're already building that culture. You know, it started with the college team. It's already trickling down to the youth program, and that's exactly what we want to. We have an amazing coach. We have great support from open field and everything. So I feel like the CCAC team is going places. Thank you.